turbochargers, like most components, can fail, whether it be through misuse, simply wearing out, or a manufacturing fault. GCG turbochargers are the leading company in Australia for rebuilding turbos. Often when people have a turbo rebuilt, they have it high flowed for extra performance. This is where the XTR brand is applied. I caught up with the owner of GCG, Brett, to answer some questions and dispel some myths. Uh, this is a V-Dub turbo that we've uh, just reconditioned for a customer of ours. Uh, the most common types of failures we see here at GCG uh, are your typical oil seal failure, uh, turbine shaft uh, damage, compressor wheel damage, and your uh, oil coking of the bearing housing. We find 90 odd percent of cases that turbochargers are economical to repair. Now, in most instances where the turbocharger, turbine wheel, compressor wheel, and centre bearing cartridge needs to be replaced, uh, it's getting uneconomical to repair, so we typically quote the t a new turbocharger as a customer. Let's follow the steps of a rebuild or high flow. The first step is disassembly. The turbo is then inspected to assess what needs to be repaired or replaced. The next process is to choose what parts will be required to rebuild or high flow the turbo. When high flowing, wheel and housing specifications will be chosen to suit a required application. Next is to begin assembling the turbo. The housings are machined if required to suit larger wheels. Once the centre section of the turbo is assembled, it needs to be balanced, which is all done in-house at GCG on an electronic VSR balancing machine. Final assembly is where the housings and any fittings such as internal wastegate actuators are fitted to the centre section. In most applications for most street registered, high flowing is the way to go. One of the big issues you find when people buy on the net is that they can't uh, find out what the trim or the size of the turbine to compressor wheel uh, configuration is. What this means is that you can't truly tell how a turbocharger is going to operate on your vehicle, how much power it's going to make, uh, which is really a dicey way to buy a turbocharger. Now we rely on uh, solid data which allows us to uh, give the customer the power increase he wants, the turbo response he wants at the sort of boost pressure that he wants to run without damaging his engine, without having to go to expensive modifications. There's that many cars out there that uh, can make really good power with, uh, with a GCG upgrade high flow turbocharger. Uh, we're seeing uh, comfortably 250 kilowatts at the wheels uh, with some very minor modifications to the rest of the to the rest of the vehicle. Uh, we find that uh, there's a, a bit of a mentality out there that I've got to have a turbocharger that's uh, bigger than my mates. If you go to a bigger turbocharger, you have to have the supporting modifications to to make the, the power and to have that turbocharger work in its efficiency range, which is critical. To determine what's best for your needs, you should speak with a specialist such as GCG Turbochargers. For more information, check out their website, gcg.com.au, or contact the guys direct.